A genetic study is one of the paramount uh, ex explorations uh, that has to be done uh, at baseline in any newly diagnosed patient. So, and uh, and uh, this this uh, there are some levels of uh, of uh, intensity of the genetic screening for these patients. The the minimum panel for for these patients is. Conventional cytogenetics, it's mandatory. You, we can see numerical uh, uh, abnormalities. We can uh, identify uh, uh, structural abnormalities uh, such as uh, uh, translocations. And, and uh, this is mandatory. The second, this uh, conventional cytogenetics uh, can be complemented by fluorescence in situ hybridization for at least uh, the, the Philadelphia chromosome for the BCR Avelson one translocation, uh, the, the translocations associated to, uh, to, uh, to, to um, the, the rearrangement associated to translocation between 12 and 21 or 1 to 19, this, this, this uh, molecular rearrangements could, could, can be uh, well uh, studied uh, by fish, uh, and the, the immature BALL, we perform a, a fish to detect uh, MIC rearrangements, and the and we also uh, make a fish study for MLL rearrangements. This is the basic study that we uh, should do uh, to any patient uh, with ALL. And the third, uh, the third, the, the third uh, show conventional cytogenetic fish, and the third is uh, PCR for some rearrangements uh, such as Philadelphia chromosome, such as the, the, the T119, the, the MIG rearrangements, the MLL rearrangements. So this is the basic panel for the, for the study of these patients. So uh, we, uh, uh, this is for just for assistential uh, purposes. Uh, if we uh, we uh, collect uh, and uh, and and uh, store genetic material for for these patients in order to perform uh, additional analysis, one of them uh, them could be the analysis of secondary abnormalities such as. ICAROS, PAX1, uh, uh, CDKN2 and B, and other rearrangements uh, uh, involved uh, in B cell development. For TALL, uh, the, the situation is, uh, is uh, more difficult, uh, and we, we perform conventional cytogenetics, uh, and uh, we also uh, store material for. Uh, for uh, rearrangements associated with TALL, um, uh, su uh, such as RAS, uh, the, the, the pathway RASP10 or the Notch1 pathway. And this is what, what we do in our lab. No? And, and this is very important uh, to, to make a, a basic panel as described and especially to a store material for future genetic uh, studies because uh, uh, the, 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 the things are evolving uh, the, the, and, uh, and some of these rearrangements could have therapeutic implications in the present and in the near future.